What's up, fellas? Welcome back. to my buddy Kevin here. We're um, upgrading my uh, generator system. I'm putting a... What is it, Kev? Interlock? An interlock kit. Interlock kit. Now, can you explain to me how this fucking puppy works? Can okay. I or did I? Would you? Well, basically what an interlock kit is, an interlock kit is a device that goes in your panel. Right. That basically which, turns your panel into a transfer switch. Which is very important, right? Well, it's very important because it's for safety. No, number one, it's for safety. Number two, the, the only other option besides something like this right. would be one of those ugly, big, silver square, six-circuit or ten-circuit little boxes. But now, the downside to those boxes, one, they're extremely expensive, and two, they limit you. You wind up with either six or ten circuits, but now you have to pick and choose what circuits do you want on a generator? Right. You can't put everything on the generator. You kind of pick and choose. Right. But now, you know, you pick six circuits, and that's what you're stuck with. Right, right. With a situation like this, what it basically does is it backfeeds the entire panel. Right. So now when you're running your generator, we'll put an outlet on the outside of the house, a special outlet that the generator will plug into. Yeah, I'll show them uh, that in a minute. Too. And then what will happen is, uh, now it backfeeds the whole panel. Now you can pick and choose whatever you want. Right, and exactly. And depending on the size of your breaker, if you, uh, your generator... If your generator is big enough, you can just turn everything on and not have not even worry about right. what you're running. Right. Just, you know, obviously, just shut things off when you leave the room. Right. Absolutely. Yeah. So and it's it's about <clears throat> the same cost as one of those traditional transfer, you know, old school transfer switches. Right. Um, you know, you know, maybe it might be a slightly cheaper material wise, material wise, but um, that's Ford. That's got to stay. So. Uh, you're doing a lot of talking now. Yeah, I, I, I tend to talk to myself. Sometimes I need expert advice. i got to ask somebody. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know what I do need, brother? Yeah. If you go out to my truck, Yeah. in the back, drop the tailgate. Yeah. There's a cord. Come on, get it now. So that's the uh, power inlet box, right? That's where the generator plugs this into? This is what your generator is actually going to plug into. That's awesome. There we go. That's beautiful. That's outside the house. So I had no issues with running a generator, you know, outside. So this has got a proprietary plug on it. The plug into here. Beautiful. The other end of it plugs into your generator. Where's the generator? It's right here, ready to rock. Yeah, you feel that? That's rock solid. I'm never going Dude, to... that's a nice job, then. Okay, that's beautiful, bro. Yeah, we're getting things, uh, we're moving along nicely here. So this puppy... We'll get that 20 foot cord. I'm on the payroll now. This is got time and a half, double time. Hey, we're installed. All right, Kev, so... Uh, right, so, so the way the interlock kit works is basically what it does, it prevents the utility power from being on at the same time as your generator power. So you'll notice there's a device in here now. It's got these little things that move. Right. you notice that the generator breaker can't turn on. We didn't relabel this yet, but we'll, we'll relabel this generator. Correct. Um, you'll notice the generator breaker can't be turned on. Right. Try to slide this up. You can't slide it up far enough. You still can't turn the generator breaker on because the main is on. Right. So what you actually have to do is you have to turn your main off. Lights out. Hold on. Right. You're going to bring this up, lock it in place. Awesome. Now that's going to allow you to bring this all the way up, hold it up, and turn that breaker on. Now your generator would be feeding the panel. That's awesome. So at the same time, if you try to move this back down, you can't. It doesn't let you. So it prevents you from turning your main back on. Everybody's safe on the line. Everybody's everybody. safe on the line outside. And they're safe in the house. Right. So that's the, the, this is the right way that it should be done. Absolutely. Versus, you know, yeah. I've seen everything from guys taking yeah. cords and plugging into their dryer outlets. And, yeah, yeah. But, you know, it's, it's, it's inexpensive. It's not super, super costly. You yeah, know, no, no. A couple hundred bucks. Yeah, exactly. I'm up running, yes. And it, it's, it's just for the safety factor. You know, if you, God forbid, you do it the other way and you forget. Yeah. And that PSCNG guy or white or water electrical authority guy, hundred percent, bro. Yeah, touches something on the pole and yeah. and 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 you kill him. Forget it. You know, that's yeah. your liability. So yeah. now you know your power comes back. You see the neighborhood's getting power back. You right. just do it in reverse. But you'll notice as soon as you turn the generator breaker off, right, everything kind of drops and falls back into place. Now you can't turn that on, right? But it will let you turn this on now. That's awesome. The lights back on. That's beautiful. All right, now we'll go to the outlet outside, finish yeah. that up, and that's it.